Please follow the instructions carefully while battery reconditioning. Always wear safety glasses and hand gloves while doing battery reconditioning. Since a battery releases toxic gas during charging process, which is injurious to health, that is why this process must be done in proper ventilated area. Do not do this process in the closed doors. There should not be any sort of sparking near the battery. Please always remove negative terminal first from the battery to avoid any spark. Always use distilled water. Never use acid or tap water. Always put the battery on the level surfaced. If surface level is not proper, then you will not be able to maintain water level. Now I will show you the process for battery reconditioning. Only use the additive after you have performed all the dead cell tests below. The additive will not restore totally dead cells ever. First of all, clean all the positive and negative terminals properly. Now open the caps of the battery cells and check the water level. If it is below the level, then maintain the water level with the help of hydrometer. Now hook up the battery on 10 ampere charger and charge it for at least 10 minutes. Check the battery voltage. If it shows more than 10 watts, then you can proceed for next test. And if it shows less than 10 watts, then the battery will not work. To know the status of the battery, you need to two tests mentioned below. Cell test. Be careful that the probes should be properly dipped into the water only and should not touch the plate while testing. To check the each cell of the battery, Put positive end on the multimeter on the positive terminal of the battery and dip the another end into the first cell of the battery with the help of prop. Now, positive end of the multimeter should be dipped into the first cell and the another end should be dipped into the second cell. Then likewise, one end of the multimeter should be dipped into the second cell and the other end should be into the third cell. One end should be into the third cell and the other end should be into the fourth cell. Then one should be into the fourth cell and the other should be in the fifth cell. Then one end should be in the fifth cell and the other end should be into the sixth cell. Every time note the reading of each cell on the multimeter. This should be 1.9 volt to 2. If this reading is less than 1.9 volt or more than 2 volt, then the chances of reconditioning are less. An excessive reading usually indicates shorted cell. Specific gravity test. You need to do this test with the help of hydrometer. First of all, dip the hydrometer into the first cell and squeeze the ball. Then the water will come up in hydrometer tube. Do this two or three times and check the reading. If it gets stable at 1200 mark, then consider this particular cell is in good condition. Likewise, check remaining five cells gravity. If any cell gives below 1100 mark, then that particular cell might be in a bad condition. Draw it in and out several times so that you will disturb it and mix it up. If you find the water in black or brown in color, then consider that the cells in bad condition. Put this type of battery in a junkyard. Now, pour the six tubes of the battery chem pouch into the six cell of the battery. One tube will be in one cell. After pouring the battery chem additive, check the water level of each cell. If it is below the mark, then bring back to the optimum level. If the battery you are testing passes all the tests, you may then place it on the charger for a long slow charge. It is important to note that most of the batteries on the market today have lead calcium plates in them and when they get discharged down to a very low voltage, 
they require a long slow recharge and charge it for 24 hours. During charging, keep the eyes on the volt and ampere meter of the charger. If you notice that volt and ampere of the battery are developing, then you are proceeding in the right direction. And if no development in the volt and ampere is there, then you might have forgotten to check the water level. May one cell of the battery is shorted, which you might have missed to check. There may be loose connection of the battery. Lesser the ampere of the battery after 24 hours. If the water level decreases, then add some distilled water and level the water. After that, again charge the battery for 24 hours. After charging the battery for 24 hours, remove the battery from the charger and let it be cool for another 24 hours. After that, hook up the battery on the load tester. Always put the positive clamp first to the battery and then negative. Then push the red button and check the voltage. If volt is not going below the 10.8 volt, then that means this battery is capable to give cranking current. So this type of battery is able to start your vehicle. Remove the battery from the load tester. You need to remove negative clamp firstly so that you can prevent any kind of damage. We have continuously found that after we add our chemicals and recharge the battery, further testing of the reconditioned units show that the specific gravity and cranking amps continues to improve. Long-term testing is now proving that batteries, even in very poor condition, but not having any dead cells, are getting stronger while just sitting with our additive in them. However, it is important to give them a slow charge every other week. This way, you can recondition your old batteries and bring them to their working condition.